Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll learn how to do the double exposure effect seen at the start of this video. This can be applied to both videos and still images using the same steps. For best results, you need a clip with a darker subject against a light background. Grab your clip and drag it down into your timeline. This will be our silhouette clip. Next, select a clip you want to place inside the silhouette and connect it to your timeline under the first clip. Ripple trim the longer clip so both your clips are the same length. Select your top clip, hold down the option key, and drag up to make a copy of it. Layer this copy on top of your original clip and press V to disable it for now. Next, we need to add a few effects to our clip to make it a silhouette. Open the effects browser, select the color category, and add the black and white effect to this clip. Head up to the inspector window, select the color inspector, and add a color wheels correction. We'll use this to add more contrast to our clip. First, go to the exposure wing of the shadow controls and bring it all the way down to crash the blocks. Bring up the highlights all the way to blow them out and make the background as white as you can. Depending on your clip, to get the most contrast between your subject and the background, adjust the exposure of the midtones in your clip either all the way up or all the way down. For this example, we'll bring ours all the way up. We now have quite a bit of contrast in our clip, but for best results, we need more. If you scroll all the way down in the color inspector window, you'll see additional controls for all your color wheels. Hover over the shadows control, and on the right hand side, you'll see a show button. Clicking on it will reveal more controls to adjust your shadows. Bring the brightness slider all the way down. Next, open the highlights controls, and bring the brightness slider all the way up you should now have a nice silhouette of your subject with a white background. What we need to do now is make the black parts in our clip transparent to reveal a clip's under it. Go back to the video inspector, open the blend mode drop down menu and select screen. What this does is it takes the pixel color values in both clips, inverts them, multiplies them and then inverts them again. This results in the black parts of your clip being completely transparent and the gray parts semi-transparent. The white in your clip will stay opaque. Your clip should now look something like this. Now let's go back to our top layer and use it to add a bit of detail to our silhouette. Select the top clip and press V to re-enable it. Go back to the inspector window and change the blend mode of this clip to overlay. This brings out some detail in our silhouette while keeping it transparent. One more step you can take here to make it look even better is adding a graduated mask to the top clip. Go back to the effects browser, select the masks category, and drag and drop the graduated mask over your top clip. If the focal point of your clip has vertical movement in it like mine, you need to keyframe the position of this mask. Move your playhead to the start of your clip and use the on-screen controls to position the center control of your mask over the focal point of your clip, which in my example is the model's face. Adjust the target control to reveal more or less detail in your silhouette. Once you're happy with how it looks, in the inspector window, add a keyframe to the center control of your mouse. Hold down the shift key and press the right arrow on your keyboard to move your playhead 10 frames ahead and in the viewer, adjust the center control of your mouse. The target moves with it so you don't really need to touch it. Repeat this for your entire clip duration, adjusting your mouse every 10 frames or so. When done, let your clip render out, and here's our finished result. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button or in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. New videos uploaded every week, so please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back here next week.